Hi, I'm John Margaret and I will be your tour guide for the story Mask of the Red Death. If you don't have any question, let's proceed. In this first diorama, you can see the palace where a man named Prince Prospero lived. And as you can notice, there are huge and thick walls around the palace. Why? Because there was a man in their city who was whom everybody was afraid of. So they used the wall to protect them. By the way, the name of the man was Red Death. But despite of all the rumors about Red Death, Prince Prospero invited thousands of his friends to attend his masquerade ball. At the masquerade ball, there you can see the beautiful ladies around the palace. And the prince had provided all the pleasures they need to make this masquerade ball a magnificent scene for everybody. Prince had provided all the securities, but they don't know that somebody will arrive and will scare them. But first, before I tell you about Red Death, let me first tell you about the seven rooms inside the palace. Inside the palace, there are seven rooms. And these are. The first room is the blue. Second was the purple. Third was the green. Fourth was the orange. Fifth was the white. Sixth, the violet room. And the last room, the black room. All the six rooms have the are color coordinated. Their windows are the same color with their walls. And they are so organized. But the, the last room, which is the black room, differs from the sixth room. Why? It is because of its deep blood-colored window. Its window is smaller scarlet. And also in this room, there you can see the big clock, which is called the gigantic clock of ebony. The gigantic clock of ebony has a huge sound and a heavy monotonous clock. And whenever the people from the ball heard the, the, the clock ring, they stop from what they're doing to hear the sound. And when the clock stop, and when the clock stop, they get back to what they're doing. At the last echo of the clock, at 12 in the midnight, there came the unexpected visitor. It's no other than the Red Death. Red Death was so scary and his mask was so ugly. And so, the people from the ball were so scared of him. And the prince saw him and told them, Who dares? Who dares to insult us with this blasphemous mockery? And he told his courtiers to follow him and seize the mask figure. But they did not follow him. Instead, the Red Death came after Prince Prospero. And Prince Prospero ran through the six chambers. And Red Death followed him. Until they reached the Black Room. And here at the Black Room, Red Death saw Prince Prospero. And after a minute, the people from the ball heard a sharp cry. So, they went to the black room to check what happened. And then there, they saw the dead body of Prince Prosper. And the light of the ebony clock went out. And also, the flame on the tripod expired. And the red death, nobody knew where he went. And all that he left was his mask inside the black room. And that's how the story ends. And now, we're gonna enter inside the black room. <laughs> <laughs>